don't even know where to start. And sometimes you just need to move on. <laughs> oh, all the feels. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little story time for you guys. Um, I know everybody's been wanting to know and I keep saying I'm going to tell you guys and I just never have really gotten around to it. Basically, everybody knows that I have quote-unquote quit modeling. Um, if you know me and you knew me before YouTube, I modeled professionally for about 12 years. I was kind of pushed into the industry at a young age. I didn't really want to do it. It wasn't really for me. I was always just kind of like, your guy's girl. I wanted to do sports and whatever. It just wasn't for me. And then I figured out that I'm tall and skinny and I can make money off of it. So I decided to stick with it and I did very well for a long time, made very good money. I just kind of hit this point where I remember the exact moment where I just knew like it's time to go. I was in the elevator at a fashion show and there were a few makeup artists in the elevator with me and they, you know, they asked me, oh, you know, are you one of the models in the show? And I was like, yeah. They asked me, oh, you know, whatever are you excited about it and without even like missing a step in my beat I was like no and they kind of just both looked at me crazy and I explained to them I'm like I've been doing this forever I mean I just I feel like I don't get the same feeling that new models start, starting out in the industry get like I'm not excited to have makeup put on my face and have my hair half burnt off and teased and whatever I'm just it just wasn't something I got excited about. And I hate to say that because, you know, a lot of people are, they really want to be in this industry and they are very passionate about it. It's just, aside from that, a lot has changed. I moved to Los Angeles in 2015 and I tried to break out into the market there because I had absolutely tore up and killed Miami. I can say that. I worked a lot. I had a lot of clients. I did very, very well in Miami and I figured it was just time for me to break out into a new market and go. So when I got to Los Angeles, the first First thing I noticed was social media everywhere and that's not to say I had a bad social media I had a great social media I mean I've always done very well just from doing TV shows I was on Amazing Race I did Project Runway like I always had a very good fan base and I had the followers I just couldn't believe that there was no more caliber of standard to book a job like I can remember getting my first GQ cover and being so excited about it and being like, oh my God, this is gonna take me to the top, da 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 da. I got an interview with Sports Illustrated. I had seen emails being passed back and forth between my old bookers about me possibly being a Victoria's Secret angel. Like I just remember feeling like I killed it and everything. And now all of a sudden seeing clients booking these girls that, you know, they're gorgeous girls. It's just, they're booking them based on their following. And for me, I really, I hate to say this, but I didn't think that was fair. I had always tried to be the best. I had always worked really hard. I tested a lot. I booked really big jobs. My book was phenomenal. I can remember going to castings and you know, every single client being like, your book is ridiculous. Like we're just gonna book you. I worked so hard to get to the point where I was at and then just coming in and like seeing someone that whatever has followers on social media, just blowing past me, I was kind of like, this sucks. I don't really want to be in this industry anymore. It was time for me to move on. And that's no disrespect in any way, shape, or form to anyone that's killing it off of social media. You know, I personally, I still book things from social media and I still do model a little bit here and there. I just came to this point where it wasn't for me anymore. I didn't feel great going to castings. I wasn't excited about it because it was like, you'd show up to swim week in there. You have a girl that's 5'2 when you're 5'11 and you should be on that runway and you've walked for Chloe, uh, Versace, Zach Posen. Like you've walked for everybody. You deserve to be a front runner. They put someone that's 5'2 with 800,000 followers in front of you and you don't understand why. And I just missed a point in the industry where that was the top tier. If you were tall, you walked. If you could walk, you walked. <laughs> and 
again, I want to stress this so much. It's no disrespect to anybody else that's out there killing it and doing their thing. It's just for me, I looked at all that and I was just like, I don't love this anymore. I feel like it's just not for me. And I remember in my last year, you know, I just got sick of going to castings. I, I didn't want to deal with it anymore. I just no longer want to be that girl that's strictly living her life off of going to castings. I'm grateful for everything that I've gained from modeling, the clients, the friends, you know, people that I still work with today. I'm still friends with my bookers from my agency I was with for six or seven years. I just feel like I want more control of my own life. I wanna be able to dye my hair when I wanna dye it. I wanna be able to be pale if I wanna be pale and not have to worry about getting a tan. I wanna be able to skip things and if I wanna say no to a job, I can say no to it. I just miss being my own person and I feel like I lost that with modeling. Now this is not to say that I'm completely done with modeling because I'm not crazy if someone offers me a good amount of money for a brand or whatever I still do accept jobs you know I walk a show every single year because I'm still very good friends with that client and I'll probably walk it until I can't walk anymore or until they're like you're not getting a bathing suit but that's where I'm at now and I am happy I'm definitely great with my decision um, there are things that I miss of course and I definitely miss my girlfriends that I've you know worked with for years but to be honest with you, the majority of the girls that I did work with have all kind of done the same thing and they left too. It's just being able to force yourself out of that element, it is so hard. I actually had to have the plug basically pulled for me because I would have never left. That's my story and that's my reasoning behind why I just don't really model anymore. Again, like it's not to say that I am or am not ever gonna do it again. I'm just no longer professionally doing it as my full-time job. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Feel free to give it a thumbs up if you like it. Also feel free to leave any comments or suggestions or anything you guys might like and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you soon. Have a good one.